Wanna get in this mic? Huh? Wanna get in this? In, oh, in the vlog? Yeah, let's yeah. do this. Well, I got, got Mike. What's up? <laughs> First time on the vlog, we had a... Oh, yeah. We're we gonna call this a Tesla shoot? Yeah, so this is a, a Tesla charging shoot, basically. Kind of just educating the Tesla customers on uh, what it's like to get that aside assessment uh, for your charging station. Awesome. So I'm gonna show some of that stuff, but if you guys do have a Tesla or need a Tesla and need charging, Make sure you hit up Good Faith Energy. Good Faith Energy. They'll be in the description below. And I'll probably show some drone footage. Yeah. And then we're going to be you got some sick drone footage. Sick drone. Got two the doors up. Two Model Xs, not two just one Model X's. Two Model Xs. Black and a white one. Yeah, at our customer's house. <laughs> just installed the, the, the two EV chargers. Why don't you show them? Oh, yeah. Here go the charger. So here's the charger. And this is the upgraded. This is like the super charger for the super. house. So this is what we would put in uh, for that super fast charging so you can get, you know. So how fast can it charge from uh, empty or is it empty? So it depends, like on their cars, uh, they okay. can get a full charge in probably like five hours. Five hours? Yeah. That's good, so you go to sleep and you wake up to a fully charged car. Oh yeah, yeah. And what we did on theirs is we did two chargers. They have two Model Xs, so we, uh, we installed two, one for the white one, one for the black one, and they can plug both their cars in at the same time. Man. So, that's the plug. So Tesla, I need y'all to uh, push these videos that we're gonna do. The videos are gonna be dope. They're gonna be on YouTube, Instagram, everything, everything, Facebook, yeah. probably LinkedIn. Yeah, LinkedIn would be good. Everything. We're trying to, we're trying to holler at you, Elon. But, uh, <laughs> Elon. Come see what we're doing over here down in the DFW. Yeah, area. come to Dallas. Yeah, come to Dallas, certified man. Tesla installers, certified Powerwall Tesla installers. Uh, we're doing it big, doing man. big things. Third quarter, everybody <laughs> is going to be getting hit up about putting power walls in their house. And yeah. and then combine that with solar. It's a wrap. Yeah. yeah, they do solar panels as well on top of houses. So yeah. anything solar needed, Tesla, like if you are looking to help the environment, got to hit up Mike. And Mo, Mo is where well, he was playing. Mo, soccer. this is the founder of this the founder right here. Right here. Mo. Hype <laughs> man. Hype man. So we just tell them about how Elon Musk got to come to Dallas. Oh yeah. Elon, <laughs> tell them what's up. We've been waiting for you, buddy. Come on, got good barbecue. Very good All barbecue. Right. We also have people with a lot of money that love Tesla. Yeah, a lot. That like love Tesla. Here, it has two Tesla Model Xs. That's right. Big fans of yours. And we are too, Elon. <laughs> We'd love to meet you. Come on over. Yeah, we love your mission. We love your mission. We, we, we back you all the way. Oh yeah. And if that earns us a trip to Mars, we'll, okay, <laughs> we'll start at the Giga Factory. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the, I want to go to the Giga I'll Factory. I'll camp out on, on it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Dope. Uh, but, Let me show you some drone shots. Yeah. First shoot is a wrap. Can you believe we're just getting started? I really don't know how to top a drone in two Model X's, but I bet you I'll try. Next shoot is a night shoot with my homie, Double A. I'll see what I can get with that. May not be as entertaining as this because, just because, two Model X's and a drone with the doors up. How can you top that? Uh, other than that, I am shooting in a club. Some club for an SMU event. If you don't know SMU, that's Southern Methodist University. So the club name is Mr. Rich. I thought that was a person I was recording, but apparently it's a club called Mr. Rich. So I'll see, see that's the thing. I don't know if I can vlog those, like possibly, I can do it before and after, you know, kind of like how I did with this one. Like I vlogged before and then afterwards and kind of a little in the middle. I hope you all enjoyed the vlog yesterday, which posted super late. Oh man, hope you guys enjoyed it. I want to make sure I do give back knowledge and assistance and help. So look for that periodically. So let's just go ahead and put this camera down so I can get home charge batteries and get ready for the next shoot. Let's 
What's going on Tigers? It is now Saturday. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna combine Friday and Saturday and make one big happy vlog because I didn't get home till like 2.30 after shooting that event at the club and that's, my body isn't, my body's too old for the club. My eardrums are still hurting until I went to sleep. Well not hurting, but kind of numb until I went to sleep. Um, and it was just it's too much going on. It was dope though. I uh, connected with some dope individuals that also are looking for videos, so that was great. Um, but yeah, today we are doing the Earth Day extravaganza. So if you are in Dallas, we are cleaning up Deep Ellum, cleaning up the streets, and then gonna come back and do a photo shoot in the streets. And then we're gonna have an event in the evening, kind of like a celebration of cleaning up, taking photos, and doing something great for Earth Day, which is picking up trash. So I decided just to put it together because I couldn't edit. I got home like at 2.30 and I put a poll up on Instagram saying should I edit or should I go to sleep? Everybody said that I should go to sleep and I didn't even read that until I woke up because I needed to get some rest. But I was up at 6 a.m. right back at it, 8 a.m. here. So we're gonna get this day started, part two of the vlog. We just finished cleaning up Deep Ellum. You see the bags all over the place. I think it's gonna take a group picture. Yeah, we're gonna take a group picture. Get close, get close, get close. Everybody look at Caesar! Yeah, yeah. We're on site for the next video. Well, not next video. Next event for Earth Day Extravaganza. And to everyone who gets here, I'm gonna answer these few quick questions. Well, it's not a few, it's 15. I got tagged by Daniel. This is for you, Daniel. So one, describe your content in one sentence. Um, whatever I am doing throughout the day in regards to videography and real estate. Uh, two, what equipment do you use to film? Right now I'm using an ADD, Canon ADD. I also have a 6D Mark II. Uh, this is the lapel, the Rode mic lapel. I have a light right here. And then I use a Joby GorillaPod, and I got the arm. Matter of fact, let me try to show you the setup real quick. See? Arm right here. And the Rode up there and the Gorilla Pie down there. Number three, what do you use to edit? I use Adobe Premiere Pro. Four, which YouTuber do you resemble the most in terms of content? Uh, I feel I resemble myself, but a lot of people say that I resemble Casey Neistat to the point where I haven't even watched the Casey Neistat vlog because I don't want to mimic what he's doing, but that's a huge shout out. Which big YouTuber would you love to collab with and why? Casey Neistat, because he's Casey Neistat. Somebody at the door? Uh, does your channel meet the new monetization guidelines? No, it does not. And I don't even care. I think it's like 2,000. You gotta have 2,000 subscribers. Get that when I get it. I'm not really worried about being monetized right now. Do you think the new guidelines are fair? Yes, they're fair, because if you do what they ask, you get paid, so it's fair. Uh, what do you classify as a small YouTuber? It's a small YouTuber. I mean, a small YouTuber is... I don't know. I consider myself a small YouTuber. Content-wise, I don't, but... Following-wise, subscriber account-wise, view amount, comments... Like Darren, you said, if you can respond to everyone, you're a small YouTuber. If you had more money, equipment, support, what content would you make? I would make the same content. And the only thing I'm waiting on equipment-wise is the DJI Ronin S. Do you watch? Do you watch and support other small YouTubers? Yes, I do. I watch pretty much everyone everyone's videos that I see comment, and some people that don't comment, I still watch, but I do want to give support. List three hobbies outside of YouTube. Three hobbies, videography, uh, designing clothes, 
and drawing is now. I don't draw a lot, but I used to. I haven't did it a lot lately. When do you upload? I upload when I feel like it. I try to stay on a schedule of three o'clock, but it never goes that way with real estate and videography. So I think the last video I posted at nine, I had one at five, three, Monday. I don't post on Sundays usually, but Monday through Saturday, anytime. Uh, where do you want your channel to be in a year's time? In a year's time, 10,000 subscribers. Let's set the bar high. Tell us your social medias. My social medias will be at the end of this video. All of them. And in the link below. Description. Does pineapple belong on pizza? No, pineapple does not belong on pizza. It belongs in a pineapple. Keep it there. Or a can. Not on a pizza. That's it. Who do I tag? I'm going to tag a few people. Just know that that's gonna be on the